All right, good morning, everybody, and it's time for the Kelly Williams Show. Yay! Okay, so I'm so excited because today I've got one of my very good friends, Blaine Achilla. Hey, Blaine. Hi, Kelly. Good so morning. Excited. I'm excited because we are going to be talking about everything that Blaine has going on. Um, it's going to be a really fun conversation this morning. So if you haven't already grabbed your coffee or your mimosa, grab it and come on because we already got our coffee working this morning. Um, Blaine is is not only the 2019 Miss Houston USA, but she is an actress, a singer, a beauty cosmetic line owner, <laughs> and she has an article in the Bay Area Houston Magazine every month. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to kind of just start talking about everything. So listen, guys, if you want to write a comment or tell us where you're watching from, we would love it. If you have a question for Blaine, write it. We'll get it answered right on the show this morning. But we're going to be right back right after this commercial. Mm -hmm. We are back and good morning. Nancy from the Philippines is watching oh, actually morning. this morning. Good morning. We're so excited to have y'all today. Um, okay, so it's Blaine Ochoa. Um, most of you know her as Miss Houston 2019. Um, and Blaine, first of all, how does it feel to be like a queen for two years? Forever. It's been, it feels like it's forever, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Exciting. <laughs> exactly. Um, and we also have a little guest uh, running around the studio this yes. morning. That's Winston. <laughs> He's my, my new little Christmas pup. So if he, if he barks or if I have to pick him up, absolutely. Don't mind us. Absolutely. So um, it's going to be kind of a fun, exciting show this morning. So, um, okay, Blaine, you know, what do you think? You know, you, you, you didn't give up your crown last April, uh -huh. which you thought you would because COVID hit and it kind of changed everything. Yeah. Um, and hello, Amy, <laughs> for watching this morning. Amy owns, I'm Massage right here in Kima. Oh, oh, nice. Awesome build business. Wonderful. Yes, I know. She's amazing. <laughs> um, you didn't get to give up your crown. COVID hit. Everything changed. The pageant got pushed. So you literally have a, you know, you're going to have a two-year reign. Yes. Um, what do you think that you, you know, kind of you've had a lot more time than a lot of queens to think about what you've enjoyed about it, yeah. kind of things you've learned. What it, what have you enjoyed about your reign? Really, do you think? I mean, I think just living in the moment of it um, was such a blessing. You know, I, some of you may know my story um, that I tried two times before to win the title. And so on my third time, um, I won. And so it's just kind of been ironic, but a neat blessing, you know, that God has given me to have it for two years. Yes. So I've really gotten to. <laughs> he said, look, we're not, not only going to let you win. You I'm going to let you have so a long, the go. longest <laughs> Miss Houston reign ever. Right. Yeah. Um, but no, and even, it is wonderful. Yeah. And even though, you know, it has been a tough year for a lot of people, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's been a blessing for me to, you know, still have that title and, you know, really get to utilize it and give my best and give my all to it. Yeah. It, it's, it's, really it's really wonderful. Um, Blaine, how old are you? I am 27. Okay. 27. <laughs> Just a baby. Love that. Um, you know, you, you, uh, as, as long as I've known you, um, you've always been interested in acting kind of pursued little things and you mm -hmm. actually or in a movie coming I up. Am, yes. That is really, really exciting. And I just saw a billboard for it the yeah, other day. Did you see yes, it on your way over here? Around town. Yeah, <laughs> it's exciting. So 
Tell us a little bit about it and how you got into that. Yeah, so I've always wanted to be an actress. And um, I started at a young age, and then I did acting classes in college, high school, et cetera, and then outside of after college um, in South Page Parks now. And so I was just in my first film. I've done commercial work primarily, yeah. but I was in my <laughs> first film. We started filming at the beginning of last year and then finalized um, – last year as well, kind of after the main part of COVID, yeah. you know, people were able to leave their houses again. Absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, it's actually called Narco Sub and it comes out in a couple weeks, comes out on January 22nd and people can buy that on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it is exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. And I will absolutely, as soon as it comes out, I will be posting so people um, know they can watch it. And Winston yeah. is Winston excited be to be here this one. That's right. <laughs> He's our little guest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you have been, how long have you been writing beauty blogs for yeah. um, in the Barry Houston Magazine? How long has it been now? Honestly, I forget how many years. It's been quite a few. Yeah. I almost think maybe like three Wow. Three maybe? Yeah, it's been a while. Two and a half, three, yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> yes, I love it. I have my beauty column called Beauty with Blaine, basically, and I write about beauty, health, and fitness um, monthly. And so you can find those, you know, in the area. <laughs> yeah, you can you can look in the Bayer Houston Magazine and, yeah. and find out how to look better <laughs> by Blaine. It's right. just all written out right tips, there for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what, what got you into writing about beauty tips and stuff like that? Yeah, I guess. Well, I've always had a passion for writing and beauty in particular, I guess, being submerged in the beauty industry for so many years, you know, and I, I really wanted to, you know, kind of highlight that, it, you know, your most beautiful is on your inside, you know, yeah. kind of let that shine through and, you know, giving my tips. Women want to know what other women do, you know, because um, we each have different unique tips that we do, you know, that help us feel more confident or feel more beautiful. And so I kind of just wanted to get that out, out onto paper and words. So other women can partake in it. Absolutely. And they're they're so good. I, I, I look forward to them every month. I love them. Um, but you know, and it's it's really interesting. And and ladies, I had I had somebody actually tell me this the other day. And if you're watching, you're gonna remember who this is. But she said, Kelly, I like how you'll post something that you're using or doing yeah. that makes you feel better or you feel like it's making you look better for other yeah. people to use it or get it or Definitely. and and she said so many women don't want to share their tips mm -hmm. and I'm thinking you know I, I I guess that's true we just didn't I don't know anybody who's like that yeah so yeah. everybody I know <laughs> is is a sharer and they love to say, Hey, this is how I did this. Yeah. Or, you know, and excited For to sure. help somebody. And I love that. That's what your articles do every month. Um, because you could just look fabulous and go, ha ha. <laughs> Try to guess how I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't wake up yeah. <laughs> but, um, but it's a, it's a wonderful way to share with others and um, give great tips. Yes, and it's it's you. it's wonderful. So thank it is you. very appreciated. You Good. know, and I hope it helped people. I hope people take away from it and you know tweak what they you know want to. And mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm happy. Thank you for saying that. Well, and <laughs> soon maybe Winston will have his own tips. <laughs> right, <laughs> grooming tips. <laughs> how to behave with the groomers. Right. <laughs> we're going to see how Winston. We're going to keep up with Winston and see how he's doing. Um, okay, so you have a cosmetic line. I do. I do. I just launched it a couple months ago. And that is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like an extension of my beauty with Blaine, kind of just my brand Blaine in general, who I am. Um, I'm actually wearing my lip gloss. Line yeah, it's gorgeous. Very new lip gloss line. I actually haven't publicly, um, launched on my website that'll be coming up in a week actually less than a week i'm excited <gasps> you want some too <laughs> he's like i love the lip gloss yeah. <laughs> and then actually my lashes as well which i have on too yeah they're gorgeous thank you thank gorgeous you. and so i have a few other products coming very soon so stay tuned it's called um, blamebeauty.com you can find everything there <laughs> very easy okay so if you are watching this morning and you have a question for blaine or you just want to make a comment let us know where you are watching from. Yes. Um, comment <laughs> in the comments. And we'd love to say hi to you this morning. But um, we're talking with Blaine Ochoa about mm -hmm. her beauty line and her acting and singings coming up. And, um, oh. you know, and if you just missed it, Blaine Beauty, right? BlaineBeauty.com. BlaineBeauty.com. You can go find <laughs> all her new launch that's coming out. <clears throat> yes. 
Sarah, she's Aww. beautiful on the inside too, which Aww, I love it. Sarah you. is Mrs. Clear Lake. Oh, awesome. So yeah, and she's gorgeous too and so much fun. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> so um, we are loving that Blaine's here with us today and sharing a little bit. It's just for the new year, kind of fun for people to, um, who are really looking to maybe up their beauty game, um, find out some more things, get a little bit more information of, of some oh, stuff right. of how to look better and feel better this year. I thought yes. this was really great that we could yeah. get you on this early in the, the year. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I just did a fitness article too. So oh, great. There's fitness tips as well. If you want to go check this out too. Okay. Awesome. Some is there something we can January, do in our chair? Something that's big, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. We need puppy curls. But, <laughs> we're going to be doing puppy curls later in the show. I love that. What do you think the <laughs> hardest thing was about launching your own makeup line? Because so, you know, there's so many entrepreneurs out there that, yeah. that think, you know, makeup, I love makeup. I love skincare. I really want to do that, but they don't even know where to start. Yeah. And, um, honestly, I've had a couple girlfriends, quite a few actually, who have been very supportive, who actually own their own cosmetics line. Yeah. And so it was really giving me a lot of advice, you know, starting out. Yeah. Um, but it really, I guess just diving into it. <laughs> Come here. Okay. I'm going to sit with it. Oh, and here's Winston, <laughs> Here go. our special guest like, I today. I want to be a part of it. <laughs> That's right. But I guess just diving into it, you know, not knowing too much about the business side of it. Um, I know a little bit about her. I know, you know, a good bit about cosmetics, but I guess just creating a business, you know, from yeah. scratch and um, taking on all those new roles and then just how the cosmetic industry works too. Yeah. So it's been mm -hmm. a, definitely a learning process, but it's been, um, you know, just honestly a dream come true that I've I mean something that I've always wanted to pursue and have as my own business, especially in beauty. Um, yeah, I'm just learning as I go and, you know, getting better every day with it and, um, yeah, improving. Yeah. I love the products mm -hmm. I, that I have too. So they're definitely, you know, I'm very passionate. About Absolutely. Them. And I think that loving what you're doing and loving yes. your products and, and knowing that you would use them every day definitely. and you're not just pawning your name to something. Absolutely. That's a big deal for people. Yes, and um, I do. I wear them pretty much every day. Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely wonderful. And it is hard to start your own business. Yeah. It's a <laughs> lot of work and it's a, it takes a lot of dedication. And I think so many people um, forget that a lot of small business success comes from starting with your own network. Yes, for sure. You know, sure. your very own network. And don't yeah. ever... And that's uh, been very helpful. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Okay. So we've got a question here from Sarah Wins. Miss Texas, have they moved it? Yes, Sarah, they did. Um, Blaine actually competed. Um, last, well, it'll be in 2019. Yeah, in 2019, Miss Texas. All 2019. And so. Um, it's already 2021. It's crazy. <laughs> it will be May 29th, 2021, or May 28th through the 30th is when it is 2021. So we will be keeping everybody posted on that because that's exciting. And there's Kurt. Hey, Hi, Kurt. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt from KHEA Radio. Yes. We love Kurt. We do. And yes, hey she's a wonderful person. Very kind hearted. Aww, Absolutely. You, Absolutely. Blaine has always thank been you. literally one of the sweetest people I've ever Aww, known. I know. And this is just kind of a bonus that she looks like this <laughs> because her heart is even prettier. I promise Aww. you. A really amazing. Yes, Kurt. Thanks We're so you. glad you we you tuned in this morning. It's exciting to see you. Um, okay, so while we're on the beauty business, what do you think? What are your best three beauty tips that anybody could do? Yeah, um, I always say moisturize. I'm a huge um, advocate for moisturizing. I think a light lip gloss is wonderful. Um, substantial for, you know, every morning, I think it's great for yeah. your look. Um, and then honestly, hydrating water. That is my number one beauty tip pretty much is drinking a lot of water. I drink at least eight glasses a day and I can see a huge difference, you know, when I do or when I don't, um, yeah. my energy levels, my complexion, um, helps with breakouts, um, just overall health wise water. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think that so many people are dealing with that mask knee, whatever they're calling it, that water <laughs> hydration is helping, helping, helping. Definitely. Please make sure you are staying hydrated. That's a very good. So there's a three very good um, <laughs> beauty uh, points. Okay. So ever since I've known you, I mean, I've known you, you sing yeah, been, and you're yeah. so good and you do, you've, you've um, dipped your toe in all kinds of different things. It's been really exciting to kind of Thank watch what you, you do. 
tell us a little bit about your future plans for singing and what you've yeah. been doing. So I'm just excited uh, for this next year. Um, just to kind of pursue. <laughs> he loves my hair. <laughs> Baby. That is so sweet. This is what you get with the live show. Yeah. <laughs> All the behind the scenes things they delete out. <laughs> Which we can't delete. We're right. not deleting it. That's you right. Delete it all. That's right. <laughs> but um, honestly, just kind of moving forward, you know, with the next step in my music career. Music has been basically my number one passion, along with acting. And, um, you know, I'm excited to take that next step and really just kind of start recording things, recording songs, um, and just, you know, branching out more with that. So stay tuned for my music stuff coming soon. <laughs> Absolutely. We will, of course. And my mom and dad are watching. Oh, Good morning. Hi, <laughs> We're excited. Okay. So guys, if you are just tuning in, this is Blaine Ochoa, 2019 Miss Houston, USA, actress, singer, and owner of Blaine's Beauty. We are excited mm -hmm. to have her today. And if you have questions, please comment in this, the comment section. We'll get them answered right on the air. And also uh, comment and let us know where you're watching from. Yes. Um, we'd love to hear. <laughs> we already know we've got Philippines, Sugarland, League City, Laporte, Clear Lake, Kima, <clears throat> yeah. all watching this all morning. Over. So we're excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, um, you know, Blaine, you, you, you were talking about your writing. Mm -hmm. um, you have been ha being a published um, writer in Bayer Houston Magazine for the past three years now. Yes. Um, and, you know, is, is writing something you always <clears throat> wanted to do? Is that something that you pictured yourself really doing? Yeah. Um, honestly, I, mean, I guess in high school and college, I always enjoyed writing. I always enjoyed turning in those big, long essays. I took a lot of, I guess, pride and in so my writing. And it's so good for you. <laughs> I wasn't good at other stuff, <laughs> like science. <laughs> I wasn't good at science. <laughs> I was good at math. Yeah, <laughs> but that helps. <laughs> Knowing how much lip gloss it takes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Great problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really have, um, really have enjoyed writing. And I think, you know, I guess I was more shy growing up now, not so much, but I think writing, I guess growing up, writing was always a way for me to get my thoughts out, yeah. you know, or things I wanted to say or just express myself, you know, in different ways. Um, and I've really come to learn that, you know, writing still helps me do that today, but it also, um, you know, helps other people too, which I hope, well, I hope it does. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, it, I'm sure. it's fun, you know, it, it's <clears throat> really, um, it's kind of relaxing to me also, and also, you know, therapeutic in a way. So I do enjoy yeah, writing. Absolutely. I was going to say, you know, a lot of times writing, you know, people don't even, they may not even realize that they're a really talented writer. They're just putting down their thoughts and yeah. feelings because it's a way yeah. for them to express themselves or some for way sure. for them to deal with things they're going through in life, Definitely. you know? And so um, and I like, love that you do that. Thank you. <clears throat> even with music too, yep. you know, just because as I'm a songwriter too. Yeah. And um, so they go hand in hand. Absolutely. So it definitely helps too with that. Absolutely. Well, we want to say good morning Aww. from Casey Ochoa. <laughs> Uh, my mom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. I have not seen your mom in She's, years. I told her I was bringing mm. in Winston. She was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lala. Hi, good mom. <laughs> I love it. Good morning. <laughs> oh, she's in third period art class right now. Aww. Harden Jefferson High School. Love that. Love it. Well, well, now I know your whole family's creative because your mom's an art teacher. <laughs> she's an art teacher. <clears throat> love that. And your mom loves you. Oh, uh, we do too. Thanks, we mom, do too. Love you. That's so sweet. We're so glad you're getting to watch this morning. Um, okay, so you know, what do you think, Blaine, that has you know it's you were crowned in april of 2019 it is now yeah. 2021 yeah so much has happened so much you know in the world in your life in your goals and what you've been doing what do you think you've learned about yourself mm -hmm. over the past year and a half honestly um <clears throat> i guess being resilient and you know believing in yourself has always been pretty big for me especially during this time too, and just staying consistent. I think that's a big thing. Um, you know, during this time period, I guess, especially with COVID too, you know, a lot of people can battle and, you know, me too, even, um, you know, deal with depression or just different waves, mm -hmm. you know, and when bad things are happening in the world, you know, but you really just have to stay focused and consistent and, um, 
just focus on the positive and keep going. So I think that's definitely, you know, life lessons for sure. But I think even in this moment now, this time, I think it's really important, you know, that people need to do and just push forward because it will get better. I promise it'll get better and yeah, life goes on. So just keep pushing, keep pushing forward. Absolutely. I, I love that. Um, what do you think has changed most about yourself over the past couple of years? Yeah. Um, Besides a new puppy. Right. New puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just loving myself more and just yeah. being who I am, being my own person. Um, and just being confident in myself, which I think is something that definitely during the past, since I won Miss Houston till now, um, yeah, just knowing myself more and loving myself more for sure. Yeah, and that's that's really good information because so many people assume that pageant girls, especially the ones who win, mm -hmm. um local state national titles are always confident mm -hmm. that you just, you know, exude confidence and yeah. that's how you've always been. And that's why you won. And you're just, yeah. it's not it's, like that. I mean, you're, no. you're, you know, and, you, you learn to grow absolutely. in more confidence in yourself and what God has given you. Absolutely. And you, you know, I was about to say that, which <laughs> a lot of people are, you know, are confident, but actually confidence is a learned, it's a learned thing. It's a learned process. Yeah. Um, so you have to work on it. You know, you have to daily work on that too. Um, you know, putting yourself out there, putting yourself in situations that do help you grow. So it's definitely something that um, it's learned. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think or, or two things you would tell others about um, pursuing their dreams? I would say really it's cliche, but go for it. You really have one life to live. So you honestly have nothing to lose. And I think 100 percent go for it. Go for what you're passionate about, because I mean, I think it's more important to take that risk, take that step, you know, instead of not doing it and then regretting it in the end. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and, and I have to tell you, I've I've had girlfriends that I've known um, <clears throat> that came up to me and and it broke my heart because they said, I wish I would have done more things when mm -hmm. I was younger like you did, mm -hmm. whether you won or not or what or, or succeeded or not. You did things. Yeah. And that's one sad thing that I wish I could change about myself, but I can't. So I'm trying to make sure that my children, that yeah. I teach my children, go for it, for sure. go for things. Don't let other people tell you not to do something because they're too scared for sure. to do it. Absolutely. And, and I think you have um, said that well, because that's Thank exactly you. right. Thank you. And that's something <clears throat> fear, you know, yeah. not letting fear get in the way of your decisions uh, for your life. You know, and I mean, that's something that we have to let go of is fear. That's yeah. something that, you know, I had to learn, I guess, before I guess competing that third time for Miss Houston, I had to let go of the fear. I had to let go of what other people thought about me. And that's another thing is what other people think about you. You can't be afraid of what others think about you because <clears throat> it's not their life. It's yours. So, no, that's right. And it, and it is hard. It doesn't mean it's not easy. Yeah, we all easy. do it. We all do it. We all tend to a learned, worry. A learned process too. That's right. About what others think. Yeah. But it's a daily thing yes. to say it does not matter. Yes. <clears throat> what matters is what I need to be doing for myself. Uh -huh, for sure. You know, that's, that's exactly right. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Yeah. Okay. So that would be 2020. 26. 2026. 2026. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. weird to say. Yeah. So definitely doing more films, more movies, um, have a record out and playing beauty will be <laughs> a lot bigger than it is now. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's also awesome. maybe in relationship. Why am I like really yeah. now? But <laughs> maybe pursue more continue. <laughs> yeah. Are you watching? I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, and it's, it's interesting sometimes to stop and look at that, you know, even though we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know, it is fun to look into the future and, and think, okay, what do I, what do I want to work yeah. for? You know, what are some things that I really, um, plan to, yeah. to be doing? And, and that's having? important to do is to have mm -hmm. those goals that are that far out, you know, have goals monthly, have goals yearly, have goals five years in advance, 10 years, you know, I think that's really important too. And that, that's something that will help you succeed in, you know, achieving your goals too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you could have one superpower, <laughs> what, what would it be? <laughs> I think 
think it would be flying. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a popular one that people. <laughs> I've flown in my dreams too a few times. Oh, wow. It's always amazing. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe you have it and you don't know it. <laughs> I'm secretly Wonder Woman. <laughs> I hope you kind of resemble her, so that's kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay, so if we look into your fridge right now, what would we find? <laughs> I have mean, coffee in there. <laughs> Coffee. I got coffee in my fridge, right. but I probably have a lot more other stuff than you. Do I'm mine. almost out of my coffee. <laughs> I have an avocado. <laughs> I have turkey breast. I have that for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Green beans. That's about it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds Eggs. good. <laughs> I'm really sick to the face. The same thing over and over. <laughs> yeah, but that's why you look like that. Okay, that sounds like it. Okay, so um, <laughs> if you have been watching today, we have been talking to Blaine and Cho, a 2019 <laughs> Miss Houston, USA writer, singer, actress, <laughs> and uh, owner of Blaine's Beauty. Okay, so Blaine, the movie that you were in is coming out in two weeks? Yeah, January 22nd. <clears throat> that is exciting. So can you give us a little bit about what it yeah. is without giving away? Because it's called Narco Sub. Yes, Narco Sub. So the word speaks for itself, actually. It's about a um, the Colombian drug cartel who kidnaps um, an ex-American, I guess Marine would be the proper term, or... Um, yeah, and so they kidnap him and his family and hold his family for ransom. And so they use him to smuggle these drugs from Colombia to the United States. Um, and which it also highlights it highlights on the negativity of that. But they're smuggling in these submarines that are off radar. Um, this is true. I mean, this really happens. So oh, they, wow. Yeah, it's kind of, it really highlights on a lot of the true um, yeah. facts. Yeah, I love that. The That's, problems. Don't, don't love it that it's happening, but yeah. I love that it's kind of based on true for sure, facts. For sure. Yeah. So they smuggle the drugs in these submarines wow. that are completely off radar, so you wouldn't know. And so, honestly, um, they'll come up on islands, you know, and probably, I mean, normally the West Keys. Yeah, like he's a lot of the times they've seen them there for sure. Wow. Um, and actually, that's kind of what it's where it's based on is them showing up there. And um, it also highlights on uh, sex trafficking, too, which is yeah. huge. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and the negativities that and the harm that that does. Um, but it was also shot primarily in Houston, all of it primarily um, a couple other locations as well. Um, a lot of the actors are Houstonians, um, but there's also some big names in there like uh, Tom Sizemore. Robert Lissardo and uh, Lee Majors is a big one in there. Nice. So, yeah. It's, it'll be Six million good. dollar man. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Okay. And uh, my character, I'm an undercover CIA agent. <gasps> so it's kind of a tough girl side. I've always wanted to play cute. a little role. Do you have, yeah. do you wear cute clothes in it? I have. It. <laughs> it's more like <laughs> tough. Like <laughs> I'm in like a tank top and boots like combat Cute. boots oh yeah that's yeah, adorable it's kind of it's yeah fun. yeah <laughs> i love that i love that um so how long was that the movie project because i remember yeah. hearing about it yeah for a while yes they started <clears throat> filming in i guess you would say um 2019 okay yeah. 2019 and then um then they had to pause due to COVID. I guess that was yeah. 2020. Oh, and then yeah. uh, they finished in 2020. Okay. So, okay. So yeah. they really did a good job of finishing it up. I know yeah, it was hard. Exactly. And I think the timing yeah. was pretty good too, yeah. Yeah, especially this time, you know, when a lot of films aren't, you know, weren't able to, to be shot. Absolutely. So Absolutely. It'll be good. Yeah. Okay. So where, where are people going to be able to watch it? Cause you told us. Yes. On Amazon prime. Okay. Amazon yes. prime. Ooh, I'm excited yeah. to see Blaine in her little combat boots. Right. Out there. <laughs> That's exciting. So do you, um, in Sean Wellington is the producer, is that correct? Sean Wellington the is director? the director and then Derek mm -hmm. Potts is the producer. Okay. Um, do you, are there any other projects coming up in the near future that you are hopefully yeah. going to be a part of? I was actually looking just a part of another, another <gasps> film, short film. I can't really say too much information about that um, because it will be on um, another network who yeah. doesn't. I can't really say anything yet. But. Okay. No, that's <laughs> so great. if you want to look out for that, that'll be <laughs> next year comes out. Well, this is next year already. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In a few months. <laughs> a couple months. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for too. you. And, you know, it's funny because <laughs> I was only in one, I was an extra kind of a 
highlighted extra in one movie in college and it was a lot of work yeah people don't realize i mean it's it it's a lot of work it is especially i mean <clears throat> for different roles you know obviously one learning your lines oh god yeah being in a certain type of mentality and space and then performing you know it's a performance you know and um yeah even after my little my role i had um some of my lines were in spanish too so i had oh, wow. to switch from english to spanish Wow. I don't know Spanish, Spanish fluently. Yeah. People don't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. So I'm working on it. I'll learn, I'll learn soon, I promise. <laughs> oh, so but, that was a fun challenge yeah, for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah. Um, yeah, but it is a lot of work. And then retakes over and over, you know. So it's a lot that goes into it behind the scenes, you know, when you're yeah. filming, even for a commercial too, that people don't always think of or realize. No, absolutely. And and I... I been blessed to do a, a lot of commercials for over the past 25 years. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, those are, <laughs> it's not, you're going to, how much park. are you paying me? Because <laughs> right. this is, it's, hard. it's a lot of work, yeah. um, but it is fun. And, and so it's always a fun experience <laughs> to have to really get in to see behind the scenes for and sure. really how all that work goes in. Definitely. Um, okay. Blaine. <laughs> so you got Mr. Winston. Dude, he's asleep now. He's, oh, oh there he is. Uh, I'm so happy you brought him today so I'm I could get to meet him. He's so sweet. This um, is my first puppy to have on my own. So I, oh. I think I've been like an overprotective, crazy parent. <laughs> I've seen Kelly. I was it's like, hilarious. Should I bring him? You can yeah. say no. But I'm like, I've turned into that person who brings her dog everywhere. <laughs> Just don't put him in a purse. <laughs> And my girlfriend is Blind actually making me one for it. <laughs> I was going to say. You have a little book tie <laughs> on, the, on the top. It's hysterical. I oh, know it's hilarious. It's Thank adorable. You. You're a good puppy mommy. <laughs> you don't know what you're in I'm for, trying. little man. <laughs> Look at him. He's so sweet. He's been so good today. Blaine, we are so, I'm so happy that I got to visit with <laughs> you too. today. And I'm so proud of everything that you're doing. Thanks. I cannot wait to see Narco <laughs> Sub. I'm so excited. And um, guys, catch Blaine's articles every month. Yes. Beauty by Blaine. Yes, Beauty with Blaine. But beauty with Blaine and Bayery Houston <laughs> Magazine for all your beauty tips. They're wonderful, informative, and um, you really learn a lot. They're really good. Thank you. Um, watch for this one. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> she's uh, she's doing some big things, and we are excited for you. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching today, yes, and please share fine. this show. Go follow, How do they follow you? You can follow me. Um, I'm on Facebook, Blaine Ochoa. That's my last name. And then on Instagram, Blaine Janelle. Um, yeah. Those are my two main ones. Yeah, there you go. Go follow her so you can find out what she's doing. And you can always contact her for, for tips or yes, information. Definitely. And um, where do they buy your beauty cut? Co your cosmetic line is, yeah. is coming out. Where uh, do they find that? Blainebeauty.com. Okay. And how do you spell Blaine? Blaine is B L A I N E. And then beauty is beauty. That's <laughs> right. Com. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's ama amazing. Amazing. Love the lip gloss and <laughs> the lashes. You. Love it. You look fabulous. Thank I will you. be ordering. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much. Please like and follow the Kelly Bloom Show. Yes. Go like and follow Blaine Beauty, Blaine Janelle. <laughs> yes, Blaine what? Beauty and then Blaine Janelle on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Go, go, go. And share the show. And thank you so much for watching. We hope you're going to have a yes. blessed and wonderful rest of your week. And, um... Just yeah, we'll see you next time. We're, we're gonna <laughs> see you next time and watch out for this one. Oh, hold on. We just had somebody say hi. I don't know. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> we don't know either. Okay, guys, have a blessed, wonderful day and watch the Kelly Weem show yeah. every week right here on Facebook Live. We'll see you later. Bye everyone. Bye. <laughs>